So I think this year I'm gonna just kind of start moving our channel to like more farm centric stuff because I think it's interesting and I kind of just want to document kind of how uh, how the farm's coming along and uh, the different projects we're doing and it'll just be kind of a history for our family. So if you find it interesting, you can watch it too. But uh, really, I'm doing it for us and and uh, just so our kids can look back and years down the road and kind of see the places they lived and the stuff we did. All right, so first thing we gotta do, so I think I'm gonna uh, start today, gotta plant some grass seed. Hey, Khaleesi, how are you? How are you? Hi, Contessa. But uh, we got to get this lawnmower going so I can pull the spreader. It's been sitting all winter. No, you can't come out here yet. The grass isn't long enough for you guys to eat yet. No, you still got to stick on hay. And I had this solar panel out here, but uh, the windstorm knocked it out. And then I think a horse stepped on it. So hopefully this thing will still start. I don't know what happened to the hood here. Let's take the charger off. Hopefully this will still turn over and it's not totally dead. Oh, come on. here about two years ago almost two years um, and we put in all of this fencing here that goes all the way back up there up to those pine trees put in the horse shelter and uh, some plumbing there um, so they had an automatic water feeder that's heated in the winter so we don't have to go out there break ice and stuff and uh, in the winter or last summer the uh, people we bought our house from so they built the house it's hard to see here but it's like right up here at the front of the road they kept eight acres at the front of the road but they decided they didn't really need eight, eight, eight acres so they've wanted to sell off the four so they offered it to us first so we bought it because we didn't want anybody moving in between their house and our house so right now our property kind of goes up to where these pine trees are right now or the telephone pole over here and then kind of go straight across to where uh, these pine trees are over here so all in there where you see all the um, leafy trees deciduous trees are those yeah um, that's kind of where we bought um, so there is some apple trees and whatnot in there we'll maybe show you after and my idea is we want to kind of clear some of that out so we can kind of extend the pasture up there and uh, get a bit more pasture for the horses because they kind of tend to eat it bare through the summer. And one of them, the Contessa, the white one, is pregnant. And we're hoping to have a foal sometime, I think, in September. So that just means we need more grass. So... But first thing is, I got to get uh, the lawnmower going here because we're going to plant some grass seed in the pasture here or lay some grass seed in there and then we're going to harrow over it. I got this chain harrow that I drag behind the ATV and it kind of breaks up the soil and breaks up the horse poop and uh, will help cover the seeds. So hopefully they'll grow. We did the same thing last year and uh, it seemed to help a fair bit so 
get this thing hooked up to the lawnmower. This here is Timothy seed. It's good for the horses. And we already locked got lots of other grasses in there. But because this wasn't really a horse pasture before, I want to get some more horse friendly grass in there. This stuff is not cheap. It's like 200 bucks for a 50 pound bag, at least here in Nova Scotia, Canada anyway. And the seeds are super small. Not like regular grass seed, that's for sure. You can see these are itty bitty ones. Okay, here we go. Switched to the chain harrow with the four-wheeler. Uh, picked up a bunch of stuff in the pasture because our dogs like to grab stuff out of the house and just bring it out into the yard. Uh, while we're down here, show you a couple other things we're working on. So back when we had Fiona, about a year and a half ago, the hurricane tropical storm that came through, we had a lot of trees down in the back here. And uh, we set up this uh, trailer back here as an Airbnb just to uh, kind of help help with the bills. And uh, <clears throat> about a year after Fiona, we had some bad windstorms and there were still trees coming down. And some of them were falling right onto the campsite here. So we uh, cut them bunch down here and I still have to chop them all up and burn them we did this side over here is all nice and clear now so that is another project i guess you guys gave up thinking i was going to let you into the pasture today went back to the hay hi contessa or khaleesi you can say hi you can come say hi you can come say hi no all right be that way all right hopefully this thing will start
So what I'd like to do is clear out, clear out all of this stuff here because it's just overgrown stuff. Apparently this used to be all hay field at one point. Um, and uh, I'd like to just get a, get a forestry mulcher in here and it would probably clear all this stuff out in a couple hours, but they're really expensive. And I don't know if that's in our budget, but my neighbor out here does have a little bulldozer that he said I could use. Um, so that may be an option as well. It's just the forestry mulcher just does it faster and then it's just all chipped up and I could just get a rake behind our tractor and take all the wood chips off and plant grass right away. So that would be nice. But uh, I'll do a quick more tour through this apple orchard kind of area. These harrows, there's like three ways you can use it. These tines you can have facing kind of forward so that when it's going they're very straight up. Um, if we were to do it, the switch this bar to the other side, um, we could uh, have them going this way, which would be a little less aggressive. Or you flip the whole thing upside down and then it's just this. So we're going to go most aggressive try to break up that poop oh and this is my redneck way of hooking it up to the four-wheeler because somebody cut off the uh, hitch on the back so I use this old bicycle lock that we have as my hitch
that's all done. Hopefully we'll get some uh, good grass seed over in there. All right, well, I guess that's it for today. Uh, I got a fair bit of stuff done, but uh, lots more projects to do, and uh, it's gonna be fun doing those this summer. See you later.